Everything that we could possibly want as human beings is here on Earth. Everything. You know, people get excited about space and it is humiliating. Space is just embarrassing the size of it, isn't it? Space now is so big they can't tell us how fucking big it is. That's big, like. Uh, <laughs> But I, I don't get it. You know, recently they discovered, they discovered evidence for water on the moon. Do you know? And they are like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> There's water in the taps. <laughs> everything, everything that we, everything we want is here. We've had some phenomenal experiences, good and bad, but they, let's talk about the good ones. Could you remember? Do you remember the first time Lads, the first time you ever put your hand down a girl's pants. Do you remember that? Wasn't it amazing? You felt, you felt like saying, thanks. <laughs> we didn't know what to do. It was like holding spring in your fingers, the freshness of it. But we had no idea what to do when we got down there. Not a notion. All I could think of was just to give her like a little flick. Just kind of... <laughs> Somebody must have told me that's what you do. You just go. <laughs> and the less of a response it got, the fucking harder. <laughs> like, like, you started doing it, and fair play to you girls. Your hearts must have been breaking with the agricultural reality of this romantic moment, but you just stood there and took it. <laughs> that's great, Tommy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Jesus. I don't know myself with lust now, so I don't. <laughs> I've lost all sensation from me hips to me fucking knees. You can get work as a local anaesthetic, do you know that? You may do what you want with me now, Tommy Tiernan. I walk you home, I have a good grip on you. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Like a fella bringing the cattle in for the winter. Who on? <laughs> Less of your back chat into the shed. <laughs> and I think it was worse for girls. Worse. The first time a girl puts her hand down boys' pants. Jesus. Ah! The thing that she's looking for is looking for her. <laughs> it's waiting for her. <gasps> like a grumpy uncle at a bus station. <gasps> Sticking his head above the rim of your underpants. <laughs> She's supposed to be here ages ago. <laughs> I had this, I had this awful problem when I was a teenager that every now and again, my pubic hair will get my cock in a headlock. <laughs> what was that about, lads? It was like bale and twine wrapped around the top of it, and the horn would just be going that way. Just out the fucking road, and all the blood in the world couldn't shift it. And the girl would be there with her hand down my pants going, you've no cock. <laughs> She'd be looking down past me knee, I can't find it, Tommy. Contraception is another, is another big thing you have to deal with. Do you know? It's huge. The moment myself and my wife were using the diaphragm. Let me explain it to you, okay? It's not a breathing technique. <laughs> the diaphragm is like a small rubber Pringle. The lady puts it inside in herself. It goes over her cervix. It can only stay there for 12 hours. After that, it starts to squeak. <laughs> You'll often hear a lady walking down the road the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and the bloke is there. Is there something on your shoe? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> a load of little baby ducks will be following her. <laughs> if there are any women here who are thinking about using the diaphragm, a word of advice now. You should never, under any circumstances, let your bloke see you putting it in. There are parts of the farm that daddy doesn't need to know about. Keep 
some shit to yourselves. It's hideous. One leg is thrown over like that. This hand is rooching round in here. You wouldn't get a vet at it. She's pinching and popping and priping it. It's like seeing somebody rape a Muppet. This is the way it works. All your sperm comes flying out of you. <laughs> and it's travelling at such speed. Especially that first triggerful. It comes out of you at this, the, the speed of life. It can sometimes bounce off the diaphragm and go back down your cock into your balls and you have a baby. We are a country full of lunatics. 